What's up, my PT peeps? One Eye Bri back to talk about the Walking Dead Easter eggs, mostly from Season 7, Episode 4, but we got a couple different ones from Season 7, Episode 3. Spoiler warning, if you're not up to date or you don't know this stuff or you don't want to know this stuff, spoiler warnings ahead for various things of Season 7 and also callbacks from Season 6, Season 2, and various ones on there as well comicbook.com we'll put the link in the description we have a couple different links but Negan could have taken anything he wanted from Alexandria and destroyed it to send a message to Rick and his people the beds were a sign of comfort and something that wasn't entirely necessary so it allowed the villain to shake things up without truly endangering his new employees the decision was to take the mattresses and subsequently burn them was also an enormous nod to the violent world of gangster warfare in the Godfather films so if you've seen the Godfather movies, they're awesome. If you haven't, definitely check them out. But Negan takes a lot of shit. He takes the various things of the medicine, the weapons, the beds, and just a bunch of different things. But the beds are the big thing of this Easter egg. Besides the guns, which sucks, and hopefully he has some, uh, some backup plan with the guns or whatever. But basically the beds, in the film, the gangs used a very specific term when going to war with a rival. They called it going to the mattresses. That's in the Godfather movies. This term was a declaration of war, and that was exactly what Negan was intending with the message. Not only was he declaring war with Rick, but he was saying the war had already been won. So, going to the mattresses, because they were hiding, you hide the guns under the mattresses in the olden days of the mobsters and the gangsters. So you go to the mattresses to get your guns to start the war. They took their mattresses for no damn reason, but to rub it in their face and to burn them. So it sucks. And it's definitely the declaration of war. So it's the march to war storyline, then followed by all that war. And probably season eight is my guess. What would be there it goes comicbook.com different Easter egg and a new one. So a callback to late season six was made when Negan shot through the window of an Alexandrian home for seemingly no reason. Not only will that bullet play a huge role in bringing down the show's new villain, but it was symbolic of the end of civilization. See, late in season six, Rick Grimes explained the broken window fallacy, which means keeping windows intact is a symbolic of keeping society and civilized culture intact. As Negan comes marching into Alexandria, representing an oppression and chaos for the citizens of the safe zone, he shattered not only their windows, but also their civilization. So you keep the windows intact, you keep civilization intact. And that's what he was talking about when he was the Constable Rick, walking around Alexandria. Negan points the gun at Rick, points it at Daryl, and then he shoots out a window, saying that civilization is not intact, society is not intact. Same thing when he took out, he says it around this time frame, and then he and Pete go flying through the window, which, you know, I'm glad Pete's gone, but that was that whole theory of that when you take the windows out. If you keep the windows intact, you keep society intact. That's the whole theory, too. The bullet, that's the bullet casing. Rosita has it, takes it to Eugene. They're going to make some bullets, probably a bullet to start, and they'll see. So Negan's not going to think they have any weapons. Hopefully they do, and they got a backup, backup plan for that. Earlier this year, Negan reflected Merle Dixon's line yet to Glenn Ree. In 703, Negan swung his bat at Daryl and told him, You don't scare easy upon Daryl's lack of flinching. In episode 3, 7, the opposite of that. Daryl's brother Merle said the same thing to Glenn when he was being held hostage at Woodbury. So, you don't scare easy. So, in 7-3 and 3-7, that was Negan saying that line to Daryl. Merle said it to Glenn when he was beating the crap out of him and when he was prisoner at Woodbury right there. Which, you know, it's kind of crazy to think about it. 3 7, 7 3. They do these little tricky things, man. The Walking Dead is some good stuff. There are little Easter eggs all over the place, little things that come back to it, play homage to it. It's pretty freaking sweet. Best show on TV. Another comic book.com. In episode 704, service contained a similar mirroring. This time, Andrew Lincoln's Rick Grimes showed shades of Shane Walsh, which is nothing new for the series. After Spencer name dropped Abraham and Glenn, saying it was all but Rick's fault. The two men were killed by Negan. Rick shut down Spencer's defiance with one firm promise. I'll break your jaw, Rick said. Knock your teeth out. It was enough to silence Spencer, that's for sure. Years ago, Rick said something very similar to Shane Walsh. His words must be still echoing in his own mind. I'll break your jaw. Knock your teeth out. Shane and Rick kind of miss Shane a little bit, too. I kind of wish he was here now to do that, but he would be oppressing Rick again to we got to do something we got to do that man you can't be such a bitch I'm sure 
There's also the thing I saw that Rick said to Spencer, that's because you're small, Spencer. You're weak. You got lucky with the walls. You got lucky with us. It reminded me of Shane versus Rick when Sh- when Rick kills Shane. Shane says, you got a weak boy in that too. This is where Rick has his back to Spencer and he says it to uh, Spencer, you know, I'll knock your teeth out. So there you go, guys. It's kind of crazy that they're all laughing and giggling behind the scenes shot here. I just thought this was a great photo too, you know, breaks the little tough thing going through with this episode. But what do you think, man? Is Negan bringing down the ratings? I think so. The ratings have kind of dropped off. Well, I mean, the season seven, episode one premiere is going to have the best ratings ever. But there you go, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Subscribe to get more videos. You guys are awesome. And thank you for watching.